Hey everyone, it's Tara. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another recommendations video. Um, this time I'm going to be doing the marriage of convenience trope. I have picked out um, five books that have that trope in it, three of which are historical romances, and the other two would be considered like contemporary romances. The first one is The Duchess Deal, and this one is by Tessa Dare, and it's part of the Girl Meets Duke series. It's number one in that series. Um, so this is about the Duke of Ashbury has returned for more and he has um, battle scars and he is brooding, but he needs an heir. And with that comes a wife. So then Emma um, Gladstone, she's a seamstress. She like barges into his library or like office one day wearing a wedding dress and he decides, oh, she'll do. <laughs> he wants to keep things separate. Like he lives his life. She lives her life. Um, but for Emma, that just won't do. I really love this historical. It had like the brooding damaged hero with the plucky heroine who sees him for he truly is. So I really enjoyed that one. A good marriage of convenience. Number two is Tempest by Beverly Jenkins. And this one is Reagan. She's a mail order bride, um, traveling to Wyoming. Um, but she ends up accidentally shooting the man she came to marry. Dr. Colton's a widower with a daughter. And so he only wants a wife to care like for his daughter, but plans change as he realizes that Reagan's like independent spirit and kind heart is really what he wants. Number three, and probably my favorite in the Wallflower series, is Devil in Winter by Lisa Kleypas. And so Evie, um, she needs to escape a horrible home situation and like an awful marriage plan set by her relatives. So the only way is a marriage of convenience to the notable scoundrel Sebastian. It's like her only solution. And so obviously she recruits him to marry her. I really enjoyed this one. Sebastian and Evie are great together. Um, I really, truly loved their banter. I just love banter in books. If you have good banter, I'm here for it. Number four is Riven Night by Devney Perry. And this is number two in the Clifton Ford series. This one is Genevieve. And Genevieve's mom was murdered. And she left behind like secrets and lies. And um, ultimately that puts Genevieve in a situation at the end of like the first book. And so we learn more in the second book, but Isaiah and Genevieve um, have to get married because something that happened at the end of book one that we as a reader, we don't know, but as we read along, we start to figure out. I really loved Isaiah and Genevieve's story. This was definitely um, more of a sad story but like a sweet romance too. Number five is Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. And this is number one in the Brutal Birthright series. So this one is about Ada and Callum and they're forced to marry as a pact between their families um, to, to prevent a war between the two mafia houses. They get off on like the wrong foot and constantly have to like one up each other doing like, like crazy, like horrible pranks on each other. And um, until they realize that, you know, maybe this hate might be more like love. So I really did enjoy th this one. So those are all the Marriage of Convenience tropes that I've read so far. Let me know what your favorite Marriage of Convenience book is in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you would like to, and I'll just talk to y'all later. Bye!